Welcome back everyone, Joel here and this is day two of our journey at the UK Game, Games Expo 2018. It's actually going to be the first day this show opens to the public and as you can see here, uh, me and Lewis are actually just walking through Hall 1 at the minute, near the entrance, uh, making our way to Hall 2 which is up these staircases. Uh, we're on our way to see Hub Games Hub. and hopefully booking a, a demo of their yeah. new game, Billy Kerr. Uh, the, sorry, holding on, the troubled life of Billy Kerr. Uh, and we spot Sam as we go up. Here's Sam. Should we be doing some work, sir? <laughs> some work. What are you doing? You're not going to get in the bring and buy, by the way, if that's what you're No, in. no, no. no. That's my really? Is it packed already? No, we, they're, they're not letting anyone in. Oh. Right. Until my are not even exhibitors this year, so... Well, that's, um, well, that's where well, Mike, Mike, Mike I was the first up. person to buy Lord of the Die Angler. Hey, where, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, just up, go what? to the very So I should really get used to commentating more live on the camera, but this is kind of the first time me doing this, so it's a bit daunting in a way. Uh, I get used to yeah. it a bit more on, as the weekend gets on. But Morning, this is the first How time. You, so here's right? Hub Games, and in the background you can see Billy Kerr. So having a quick, brief chat with them, we move swiftly on to find our next prey. Which is just around the corner from Hub Games in Hall Two, which was the lovely Oink people games? of. I think that's a first for Oink Games. Well, not Oink yeah. Games. Oink Games is there. A little surprise. Didn't know they were going to be there. Uh, but there uh, Thailand board game people. design. This is like a publishing company that deals mainly with ta Taiwan, the Korean, uh, so they, they mainly uh, they help distribute other Korean, uh, Asian oriented board games around the world. Uh, we first met this chap here, Smooks Chan, maybe he's called, never really caught his name, but um, he's great. He recognised me straight away, mainly because of my cow cowboy hat that I was wearing and remember that I was the guy who bought the last copy of uh, Rescue Polar Bears temperature and data game off them at Spill so yeah that was nice for him to recognize us and then he starts giving us a brief flow down on their new game um, fish uh, dice fishing uh, rolling catch game Disappointed. Oh, that was the best name ever. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Lord of the Die Angler. Uh, I, I know the Japanese pe uh, people, they are crazy with, with the with pun of the Yeah, names. yeah, yeah. But yeah. maybe it's not that direct. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was good. It was good. We, we liked it. Okay. Good to know. I, that <laughs> yeah. educate us. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. you know this game? or Not really. No. Okay. So it's a fishing game, everyone with the uh, fish with the gears of dice. Mm -hmm. So each time there will be a fish review and everyone will simultaneously choose how many dice you want to use to catch this fish. Yeah. To catch it, you need to roll a total of eight. But at least one of the dice must be two. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so the the so everyone grab a bunch of dice and review together. The player with the fewest die will go first. Yeah. Like you bring the fewest ge gears. Mm -hmm. So you go fishing first mm -hmm. and you are patient with a lot of equipment. So mm -hmm. you wait until others. Finish. Yeah, yeah. So if I use only two dice, I go first. And sorry, I didn't make it. Yeah. yeah. So the let next player will go fishing. Yeah. Okay. So there are also special dice. These two, D10 and D20. It allows you to use three three options. First is the numbers to roll. Second is you can re-roll. Uh, if you roll a uh, odd number, you can re-roll other dice up to twice. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are basically the same. So even number, re-roll twice. Odd number, re-roll once. Yeah. And the third option is you can adjust the the number of other dice. So if you roll an odd number, you can adjust one point, plus or minus. 
even number, you can adjust up to two points. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have some special ability, but yeah. they have a cooldown period. Okay. If you use this turn, they have to stay outside for one turn. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you cannot just yeah, yeah. use it all the time. So that's give you a little bit control of the dice yeah, roll yeah, yeah. and your luck. Yeah. So it's very quick, like 15 minutes filler games yeah. before the game night or after the game night. So, and all the fish are different. They have different requirements, like you have raw all even number. Oh wow, that's just hard to get. And are these, are these points? Yeah, that's victory points. And then some have special abilities. Yeah, that's if you get this, that's two points. But you can choose one your op opponent. He randomly discard one of them. Oh, me. <laughs> and there, all the other players get discard. Oh, me. Wow. That's more interactive with this. It's nice artwork. Yeah, I like it. We, we like it a lot. These two are the same. Yeah, right? yeah. We just make it two times. Oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For real. <laughs> and what you got the um, Black Galaxy wrestling? Yeah, building. yeah, yeah. It's not here yet. I have only one sample. Yeah. That's, That's my copy. Sample. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sample. We have our shipment is still in the THL depart nearby. Yeah. The guy should deliver this morning, but not yet. So it's a wrestling game, yeah. and it's more like a bluffing and mind game. Yeah. So everyone will want, has the same set of hand cards with different numbers. Yeah. So basically, on your turn, we take turns, and you can challenge any one other player. Yeah. So say I challenge you, and I can say well, I want to compare our strength or yeah. speed. Yeah. If strength, that means the higher number wins. If speed, the lower number. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So you also play one card from your hand, and we reveal together. So if I say strength, so the bigger one wins. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So you three beat my two point five, but okay. So, oh, so these count as strength and speed. Yeah, strength, yeah. speed, yeah, big yeah, yeah. and small. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you beat my strength, but if I play a card, uh, let me see, like this one, like this one. Although you beat me. But every car has a killer move, so Ooh. I always kill three. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's not yeah, always yeah. the big win or yeah, small yeah, win. Yeah, you yeah. have some yeah, guessing yeah, yeah, or yeah. observing. Yeah. And if you lose, you put it in front of you, you lose one hit point, basically. Yeah. And I take back this car. Yeah. And I get one victory point. That's the thing. So it goes to the next player to choose the opponent. But just like the real wrestling game, real wrestling. There's always someone flying in the ring, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so all the other players, they can choose. Maybe at this time, you want to challenge one of us. So he just jump in and challenge you. And at this time, he interrupt our battle. Yeah. So you will reveal and just see only the red number. If okay. he can use the killer move to kill you, no? Uh, so he yeah, lose. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And we oh, that's quite resume the combat. Yeah, yeah. And and how, okay, many, how many players is it? So five players. Five players. We have five, five different set of player cards. Yeah, yeah. And how many, hit, how many hit points? Uh, you have 10 cards, and 11 cards actually, with one of the uh, super killer moves. Okay, it yeah. always win. Yeah. So when someone has uh, three pairs of the same number in front of him, the game ends. So they're knocked out. Yeah, so the game ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we compare the victory points. And you get victory points by winning a, a, a fight. Yeah. Oh, that's quite interesting. <laughs> okay. So you, you can observe what others have played and what he announced, what, what, big or small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can, if you think you are right, and you can jump in and grab the belt. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, not, it's, it's a lot of table interaction and yeah, yeah, trace yeah. talks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's a wrestling game. Wow. Oh, two to five. Two to five, yes. Yeah, that's pretty good for a little box game, isn't it? And it's here, but it's out somewhere else. It's, it's coming delivery. maybe Different this stuff. this afternoon. I have to go to check it uh, when he can deliver. They say in the evening, six p.m. You can restock. So right. maybe at that time. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow should be here. Yeah. Okay. Bro. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. See you around. See you around. Yeah. yeah.
can see the hats back. You gonna join Mike? Yeah, see what's going down over there. You said you have to go outside and round or something. Doing your marking. <laughs> so we're going to go to the front entrance to uh, basic watch the crowds come in, and then hopefully we're going to go and have a game of Luxor. Because uh, Queen Games have got it here, which is the Spill Desiris nominee. Probably the only chance we're going to get to play it. <laughs> Slightly disappointed they actually didn't do a countdown last this year. They did a countdown uh, just before they opened the doors, uh, which gave a little bit more atmosphere to it. But hey, maybe it's a different guy controlling the door opening this time. Uh, yeah, as you can see, my camera skills are not that good, even though I'm using a brand new gimbal uh, and got my iPhone plugged into it. I'm trying to get used to how it operates. Uh, we are a team of archaeologists. We are travelling. Intrepid adventurers, if you will. Uh, will any particular flavour you'd like? Red. Green. Green. Okay. So we shall remove those. Oh, nice, isn't it? That's nice. It's pretty. And every time you play it, the board's going to be different as well, which which helps. Yeah, that's always good. So, what we're going to be doing is going through the tomb, mm -hmm. going through the tunnels to get to the tomb, and. As soon as two adventurers are in this tomb, the game will be over. Okay. Okay. Five points for the first person, three points for the second. To get into the tomb, you're going to need a key. You can pick up a key by landing on any of these. I shall explain all the pieces on the board in a bit more detail in a moment. So, you start off with a hand of five cards. You keep them in the same order or something, don't you? Now, it's important that you do not shuffle these cards. Okay. So how have we been giving them players? Yep, so you, you play them as you've been given them. So if I come around and give you a bit of an explanation. Right, so this is where the unique movement of this game comes in. You can move one of your adventurers mm -hmm. between one and five spaces, basically. And six if you've got the dice. You can either play the card to the right or the card to the left. That is how you're going to move your adventure. Right. So, we have a minus one or plus one, so that means you can move one forwards or backwards. Okay. You'll see why that's useful at the moment. Okay. Uh, we've also got some randomness thrown in there as well. So each turn you'll be playing a card yeah. and discarding it. And you'll be picking up a card, and that card will then go into the middle. Ah, yeah, okay. So you'll always be able to see what you will be allowed to do. Okay, so there is a lot more strategy in this than you would initially think. Yeah. As you pass over these spaces, you will unlock a new adventurer, which then goes to the beginning. Okay. Fairly simple to explain. Not quite as simple to master. Yeah, <laughs> can imagine. So, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, scope for tactics. Right. Of course, as you go through, when you're picking up these cards and you blame them, oh, you need it, yeah. These will then go into the discard, which will then get shuffled into the deck, so they'll be recycling as well. Yeah. Do I keep this? Or then yeah, you keep I'll that. Just move up one. one point straight away.
space. So whoever lands on that next will have the option to take one of those. We can't do double routes. Sorry? We can't it can't do double routes, so once someone claims one of the doubles, then Ooh. that's locked out. Oh really? Yeah. Oh I didn't realise that. That's always the same in normal. Oh is it? Yeah. You could have refreshed it. Wait. Oh, could I? Yeah, yeah, you can oh, read. I, I thought you had to do it anyway, yeah.
So that was the end of our game there. You can see of Ticket to Ride New York. Quick, light Ticket to Ride. Here's a pitch or two of Meeple's Corner. This is midday on Friday. Packed out as normal. And by that time we realised it was midday and we had not eaten and already played three games. So we felt the need to fill our stomachs. So we decided to right, meet up with Mike and now. head out and find some food somewhere. Right. Port Royal? Ah, uh, it's usually the same price. I think the list of games is up on the counter there. They got a new expansion out for it, basically a scenario expansion. <laughs> You like your bags? Spend 20 quid here and you get a free bag? No, we're paying for a bag. Mug off. So, Friday morning we have actually played three games. Played all but one that I won to. All but one. Just need Quacksalver. That's yeah. my entire day. <laughs> I've only planned for well, three. Uh, well, so we played Luxor, Queen Games. Really interesting hand management. Definitely. I actually quite liked it. I might consider picking it up. That'd be a good one for the kids, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've gone really bright. What's happened? Uh, exposure. Yeah. Woo! There it is. Um, Mike here. Oh, Winter Soldiers here. Oh, yeah? Uh, what else? Uh, holding On. Holding On. That was very good. I was really, it? Holding I really enjoyed On. That. The Mysterious Life of Billy Kerr. No, the Troubled Life. Troubled Life of, Troubled Life of Billy Kerr. Yeah. Very Brilliant. Good. We very won. Very we beat good. Scenario 1. We beat Billy. And uh, I, I thought I was a very good shift manager. Just let the guy suffer. Minimum, yeah. minimum care, suffer, just get the information we yeah, needed. exactly. And uh, so, yes, that was really good. And then we played a quick game of Ticket to Ride New, New York. York, which, of course, he won. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was very mind. quick. Very was, quick One game. ticket I was constantly changing around. Kept changing my mind whether I wanted it. It's almost travel game ticket to ride. That's just what I was thinking. I was thinking it would be really useful for our top five travel games. Could do, yeah. So it's, The box is a bit big. It doesn't need to be that big. Other oh, boards. One on the board. Need a board still. Could have a rollout mat. Yeah. So. Good, that. It's good. So yeah, we're just about to go and get some lunch. I'm looking forward to it. Wait, waiting for Idle Michael. To... Joel's been bigging it up. And uh, yeah, we're going to head over to either go to the food stands that's outside here or go to the Hilton ones. But yes, so that's just Friday morning. Yeah. I think we've done all right. It's only midday. Mike, what have you been doing this morning? What uh, bargains did you buy in the Bring and Buy? I uh, picked up a copy of Iberian Rails. Which nice. I passed up. I passed up at Essen. Yeah, I so did I. Um, picked up a cheap copy of Tramways, which I've been quite curious about and concept just for a laugh. All about the trains. Uh, trams. <laughs> I am all about the trains. Yeah, that's right. Is that it? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I flogged some games. Another, another thirty pounds in my pocket. Uh, I haven't uh, been notified of any minor soldier. <laughs> well. Yours was probably like the vast majority of things that bring and buy, vastly overpriced. Vastly overpriced. Totally you overpriced. I mean, actually, the heartbreaking thing was that um, the, most of the really good bargains were things I already had. So, filled me with regret. But that's it. Other than that, yeah. Well, I've been wandering around, having a look around. Uh, yeah. We played free games. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Very productive. Yeah. yeah. Got a Viking camp here. Actually, got a camp.
So here we are outside the Hilton and here is the good old food vendors in the car park outside the Hilton. Usual, some of the usual suspects are here, a couple of new ones. Nice to see Becky's barges here, which I did actually sample some more of. What are you going for, Joel? Um, it's like a, like a kid in a jump or something. Yeah, right, I'm going for pork, pork, bun. Mike, you got a burrito? Good. Beef, Beef burrito. Pretty good. And Lewis went for? Curry. Beef curry. Yeah. Good? Oh, really good. A bit spicy, but delicious. Awesome. Brilliant. Yeah. So how many stations you got? Six. So there's five stations. Yeah. And then the captain doesn't get a chair because we're not that sort of ship. <laughs> <laughs> we want an active captain. We have tried with the Star Trek layout. So it's awful. Yeah. Wait, actual physical facing the screen over the face of the Why does that need to see the guy the captain's chatting to the business? He needs an iPhone, bloody. That's Helm, is it? Yeah, so Helm at the front, all custom controllers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, was in the, it was a test scenario we ran earlier. So if you give me a moment, I'll put the server up. Just right. Look at this. That's Start. Yeah. So all the stations should kick on. Our weapons. Engineering. Weapons is up. Engineering. And you, so you're literally just sort of flying and you sort of move yeah. the stick, do you? Yeah, so if you move the stick, ship it. Alright. And more importantly... Oh, red alert! <laughs> Where's the thingy? It's, it's behind. Uh, right, the other group finished. Oh, right, yeah. Beautiful. It's about 20 minutes early. Oh, God. So they're, they uh, Oh, what are you doing, Joe? Don't I'm trying to I'm trying to load weapons. <laughs> yeah, I'll load them. So, nuke this? on the far target? side. Ah, nuke! <laughs> and then you press tube one, load tube one. This is science. Ah, so, so it's is loading. Really it's loading. Really 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 loading. An engineering can give it more power to load oh, even yeah, faster. And then you can scan. So you do get a little tutorial quickly ever? Yeah, so we give a 10 minute tutorial with ourselves. So we take you through each station. The captain's got like a two sheets of eight so to give the it first hit. orders no, we, uh, but it's very much a cooperative game so you can, you can oh, see yeah. you can see like four foot in front mm -hmm. of you but science can see the entire map helm can't see the entire map yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the flaw of the that's game fun. which is also the game itself and, and it's the ship has only got limited energy which is engineering has to play around with the energy levels and send damage control teams and then helm gets to obviously fly go to warp go to warp yeah, we're at warp now. I don't know where I'm going now. <laughs> where am I Tell heading? You on the map. You're heading. If you if you go at ninety degrees left, you'll be heading towards the MS Boralis. Yeah. Oh no, no, asteroids sorry, hundred eighty. Go hundred eighty. Oh, you correct some asteroids. I haven't, I haven't checked out the disco light yet. There's a nebula. It's not working. No, we're in do oh, oh no, there we go. Disco <laughs> nebula. Disco <laughs> nebula. <laughs> So did you guys program all this yourself? Yeah, so, so how does the scenarios go? Do you choose oh, them every... No, we haven't so far. Okay, so it's um, one scenario. The, it's one scenario we've been using okay. for a tutorial scenario. Okay. If people have played before, we'll run them a war scenario. I see. So they can just go around battle aliens. Unless they want to play the scenario again, which yeah. Yeah. do. Yeah, no, only one person's uh, ever completed the right scenario. Right. This is the comms in the south. Right. Okay, well, button's wrong order. Uh, half not working. Okay, I'll have a look at that now. Um, we've got wild past one. Yeah, it's just. It's, ooh, what? Disco Nebula. I, I've hanged it up. Oh, right, yeah, cool. I like the. Uh, the disco the, Nebula. The yeah, it, it, we didn't know what to do for a Nebula, so I programmed in the lights to do just to like a disco effect. And in all honesty, year one, I removed it because I thought it looked awful. Yeah. And then everyone complained and wanted it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't not have a Disco Nebula. So basically, comms at this point has received a bunch of orders yeah. for you to go to do the mission, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then fly to here, do do some scanning, do some science, and then fly to the next place and blow some things up. It's not very complicated, mm -hmm. but it is hard because only one person's ever won it. Oh, really? One group, one group. Ever? Ever. How many have you done? This is our third year. Wow. So that's probably clocking 600, 700 players. Do you take it elsewhere, then? 
Yeah, yeah. Mark on Dragon Days. Yeah. We don't take it very often. Starburst. Uh, Starburst movie. movie thing. They paid us to be there. That was probably the easiest Arcade weekend of them. Yeah. Um, the easiest weekend? Yeah, because we had virtually no players. Because It was a movie was, convention. It's a movie convention. Everyone was there to see films, so they had to build gaps in for them, anyone oh, to do anything ridiculous. else. Uh, so they had us there, they had some guys running some board games. Oh, we could have just spent the whole weekend there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just playing. Uh, That's awesome. again! You got to show John Wagner out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Hello. I'm the creator of Judge Dredd. Let me show you around my Starship room. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thing around. Uh, that's an engineering team. Oh, I'm telling them where to go to place. Yeah, right? and he, you've told them to go to that corridor, so he's going to stand in that corridor now. Oh, don't do that, go and fix this. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <broken. laughs> yeah. unfortunately, yeah. one o'clock, yeah, so yeah, we've yeah, got to. Yeah, Thanks for letting us uh, have a look at that. Yeah, no problem. problem. So after getting back into the halls, we made a trip around the stalls, we're outside the Tame and Cosmos stand, and I got stopped by a passerby who wanted a hat selfie with me. And stupid me didn't ask for a uh, to send me a copy of it or tweet it or anything like that. So yeah, and then we bought exit games. Do you want to get one more? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. what I was going to suggest to you. Uh, are there the other ones over here? Yeah, these are the other ones. So yeah, these are the only two I've not done yet. I've done the castle. Done the cabin. You say is quite good. That was the one I done the other night. Any good? All right. So you've done that, and you've done that. No. Abandoned cabin, and I haven't done this one yet, but I've got it. Uh, that is good. That was the very first one we played. Is it? What level is it? What's oh, a four? Oh. That's interesting. When I first got these three, they didn't have the levels on it, were they? They always did, but they're on the sides. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I've seen. Or they have them written inside, I think, or on the back. So these people can be on both sides. On the dark side, mm -hmm. I've seen the human the rail. Yeah. So the, if the creature, if the creature uh, move this marker to the bottom, he consumes mm -hmm. this guy. So, his goal is to consume three people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do a quick setup. On the beginning of the game, half people from the town are... And because the stakes are so heavily stacked against the miners, they So, as you're winning about the ship, the life Oh yeah, that's right. Um, you can pick up more cards, 
Um, if I read you an example, this one says that your hand limit is increased from a, to 11 instead of 8. So your current oh. hand limit is, limit is 8. Uh, but as you're trying to collect as many flowers as you can to uh, make up for these borders, um, an increased hand limit could, could be really useful. Um, this one says, at the end of the game, earn one extra coin for every three orders completed. So for every three orders you, you manage to complete in the game, you get an extra coin at the end. On the first round, on Monday, and we always hire staff on a Monday. How many of us are there? Three. Here we go. On a Monday, which is the first day of the week, we hire a member of staff, and that costs us one flower. Okay, so bear that in mind. In a minute, you're going to need to pick one of them and pay for them with a flower if you want to have a member of staff. Okay? The way the game progresses is that we all have two turns in a day. Okay? So we go around in the morning and we all take a turn, and then in the afternoon and take a turn. When the day is completed, we move the day token down one and we get to the end of the three weeks when we get to here. On your turn, you can do one of four things. Okay? First thing you can do is you can go to the flower market, which is here. Okay? You can pick um, two flowers from here um, of any colour, or you can pick one wildflower. Now, a wildflower is a bit like a joker. I don't know if you play Ticket to Ride, mm -hmm. it's like an any colour train, it counts as anything. Okay, but that is the only thing you can do if you pick up a wildflower. Or you can pick two random off the deck, or one off the deck and one from here. It's up to you. Okay? That's one thing you can do on your go. Second thing, you can pick up two order cards, okay? From here. Or you can go blind and pick up one order card from here, but you get a flower card extra as like a, a well done for picking up a blind order. Okay? Now orders are fantastic, um, it's good to get lots of them, however at the end of the game if you have any that you haven't completed, then you get a penalty, so you have minus one point at the end of the game for every incompleted order. Okay? Some orders are special orders and they have um, writing on them. Should have got one ready, okay. okay, there we go. And it says must include one white, okay? So they just give you extra conditions to be able to complete the order, but usually they'll give you a higher score if you complete those. Now, on the order cards, some of them will specify the type of flower that you're going to need to get, and some of them will specify the colour flower that you need to get. If it's a colour, it doesn't matter what type it is, and obviously if it's a type, it doesn't matter what colour it is. Yeah, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the second thing you can do. The third thing you can do is you can complete an order, so that is an action in itself. Okay, so you can choose if you've got an order that you've completed, you put it forward, you pay the flowers that you've got, um, and then we give you the money, and that's the end of that action. Okay, it's relatively straightforward. Now, the fourth thing you can do is you can take flowers from your hand and you can plant them into your garden. So you've got an imaginary garden in front of you. Okay, and when you plant a flower, you can use it once per day, but it keeps getting refreshed. Sorry. So at the end of every day, you turn, so when you use your flower, just turn to the side, and at the end of every day it refreshes back and you can use it the next day. So it's really useful if you want to build up a bank of flowers and pay for orders later in the game by using ones that you've already got. And you can pretty much kind of rock those off every go um, if you've collected enough. But it's using up your turns as you go along. Okay? So that's that. So that doesn't count towards your hand. No, it doesn't count towards your hand. Limit. So your hand is eight. If you go over eight, you have to discard again every go, but they don't count towards. And you can plant two flowers in one go. Okay? Some of the orders are repeatable. Okay? So if they have a tick sign on them in the red circle, it means that you can do them twice. Okay? So once you've completed them, as another go, you could complete them again. Okay? But you're only allowed to complete orders once per day in one of your two actions. Okay? Ah! At the end of the game, this is the last thing. End of the game. Oh yes, we know. There we go. There are different festivals in the pack, okay? Festivals count for end game scoring. So this one says you can earn one coin for each different colour flower you have at the end of the game, okay? So just bear that in mind as we get closer to the end of the calendar and have as many different colour cards as you can and you get one for each colour, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I think that's it. If I've forgotten anything, I'll explain as we go along. You can't plant wildflowers. Because they're they're a joke. They're wild. Yep. They're crazy. <laughs> That'd be a quick way to win. Um, right. So what happens? Okay. So Monday we hire a staff member or something. Monday is the first thing you do. Yep, hiring staff. So, so pick, you pick a staff one. member. Make sure you're clear on what they do. Ask me if you've got any questions. Um, and um, put the rest of the other three in a pile, and then pay your one flower to the discard pile. So we've got to pay a flower to hire. Yep, one flower this time. Next time it'll be two flowers, and last time it'll be three flowers.
Okay. Are there different rarities of colours and flowers, or are they all the same? No, they're all the same. Okay. Um, obviously, your wildflower is worth more than okay. your flowers. And then two actions, shall I go? So, we have one in the morning and one in the evening. So, right, start so do one now. goes first. Would you like to go to start? Yeah, I'll go, I'll Has go first. Has everyone paid for their staff member? No, it's just. That's all just kind of a free so, play. if I played this, would this take effect now? The one draw? It takes effect for the rest of the game. Right. So, that one says draw one flower card every time another player hires a member of staff. Okay, so, so that if we stop. say that you are the staff player. Yeah. Just, you know, so That's what I was saying. Is, no, because I'm the staff player, so it's tough. <laughs> then, whoever else hires, hires, you get a flower for every time they hire. Unfortunately, I'm a start player and I've already hired mine. Okay, well that's fine. So, are you going first? No, I'm going first, I've already hired mine. Apparently, he's going first. So that was an action? No, no, that's it. Okay. It's hiring. Oh, is yeah, that your action? Yeah. No, no, it's not. No, no. That was three. Action. So now you, you go okay. take your action. We're, we're waiting for Joel to hire because his thing. Because it's a Monday. Okay. Have you paid your flowers? I've got one here. You need to give me all one each. Okay. Oh, oh I put mine in the scarf pile. Yeah, good one. Oh, it's a big disguise. It's like it's a bride. So, take your like action. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to plant a flower. No, you don't need to. Oh, you're going first? Yeah. That's fine, you can plant a flower. Every time I plant a flower, I get a new card from the market deck. This is yeah. the market deck. Ooh. And when these get used up in a day, they don't get refreshed. Only at the end of the day do they get refreshed. Okay. So the person who's a start player has the best choice. Okay, that's fine. Now, is that the scarf one? Yep. Um. Is there a limitation to how many wildflowers I can take? So you can take one wildflower, or two, or two of those flowers, or one from the top, one from there, one from there, one from the top. Up to
I will complete. Yes. Oh no, I need bugger. Yeah. Is that filling out? Should be full. Where did you draw from? I drew from that deck, that's from my plant. Did you get the finals for the fact that they hired you? Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. That's empty, that's a yeah. job. Oh, this should be a free. Who went first? I'm going first. Did you pick up anything? No. No, there we go. I've got my two for my start. Thanks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 So we're in the probably what we could call the south end of Hall One, and there's some lovely miniatures. There's water effect. Uh, what is that?
Generate is a solid board from the beginning because you're playing with it all the time. Um, I wonder, so when I was playing, I felt like I'd deck myself out, I felt like I gave myself the best chance. I didn't feel like I had a lot of control. And so a lot of these games are Maybe you can spend each one I'd be meaning to play. Mm. Alright, so I made it into the uh, bring by, forgot what it was. Let's have a look, quick look at what we've got on end of Friday, what's left for grabbing. And see if I can spot some of my stuff that's probably not been sold. That's not one. Escape from Poldance, quite a lot of that. Access and Eyes, a whole, oh yeah, war game section. Open gaming area. Going over there. There's all the championships going on. So you have a wander through.
anything good? No. Uh, no. <laughs> did you play anything? Yeah. What did you play? We played the uh, it's like a little area control game. New Core Order. New Core. No, that, not that good then. Yeah, I was on the same stand as Peak Oil. It's area control game, but it was a bit, a bit with stocks and. It's fine, but it's just we'll, we'll all. Try been, Peak Oil tomorrow. Yeah, it's just kind of all been done before. Yeah. Right. I've just been drinking by. Anything? I don't think I fancied. If you come across the Granha for thirty or less. Like the Granja for 30 or less. The Granja. The Granja. The Granja. In the yellow box. Yeah. With the, I saw a couple up there. Yeah, but they were too expensive. All right. What, what game is that? Game? I know what you mean. Uh, it's farming. Business? Yep. Beast? I kept the copy of oh, you hear Quartz Alba. Have you, you've, you've got a copy to play or something? Yeah, not, not tonight because it's still in the hotel. I would so play yours then. Bring it to me. Bring wow, it to I want to play it first. You want to play it first? Yeah. Oh, have you got a very long eyelash, eyebrow lash? Well, yeah. Probably that. Probably it's my long eye I'm, getting, I'm getting old, mate, but thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm definitely bringing it along. Yeah, yeah that'd be perfect. Yeah, yeah. So now we also need to. Looks like practice. my kind of thing. I have a bit of push your luck yeah. with a little bit of. We need to practice Captain Zona. Is that, is that the plan tonight? Pegasus. Ah, uh, <laughs> have you? We put Scorn on Submarine against Pegasus. <laughs> and I'm the communications officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> that'd be funny. I would, I would like to watch that. <laughs> so, have you got more stock for tomorrow? Yeah, they're just. Getting it the yeah, you have to 
after six, isn't it? That's yeah, not too much there. That's good. It's someone's, looking pretty empty already, isn't someone it? Someone said they're expecting 46,000 people for the weekend. No. Just they, it's not going to fit in here. Yeah, they talk to the organisers for the season. Oh, yes. Uh, we would have sold about a bazillion copies of Wii's 45. That was gone in 90 seconds. So people just came running in, grabbed them, and just came up. Pretty, pretty something about that, yeah. 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 Saturday. No, it's not, it's Friday still, sorry. It's Friday and just got back to the car and this is the first time I've seen it. That line, or crack, is growing nicely. My window's green, so I'm gonna have to go and get it repaired tomorrow afternoon because it's slightly illegal now. Yeah. Oh, what? Saturday night. No, it's not. Friday night only. I just keep thinking it's Saturday. Mm. Friday night, we had just walked out of seeing the dark room. My voice is gone. <laughs> Michael, what did you think? Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, it's awesome. It's so funny. My face is hurting. You, you all doubted me. I didn't doubt you, and I didn't doubt you oh, at all. Oh, Michael doubted me. I doubted you. Yeah. He changed his opinion. Yeah. Five Doubt, doubting Darren. <laughs> doubting Darren. <laughs> Five minutes in, I think he had changed his mind. <coughs> oh dear. My voice and my asthma all just kicked off. But yes, another brilliant show. <coughs> now we're heading back. Hotel, I think. Yeah. May as well. Get a bit of sleep. Five, five to twelve. Ready for get, tomorrow. Get some games in. Maybe asleep. <laughs> <laughs>